It's been a while since my last vaping update video, but as of November 11th, 2019, my birthday, the CDC has made a major breakthrough in discovering what the actual cause of what is now being known as e valley is. e valley also known as e-cigarette and vaping associated lung injury, is basically the chemical pneumonitis from the products of vaping. But for a long time, they did not know what product of vaping was causing this lung injury. Now we have our first major breakthrough, but still not enough. What is this major breakthrough? The CDC has done bronchiolar lavages of 29 individuals. That requires a bronchoscopy. It's a pretty major intervention to actually study the fluid in the lungs of the people with this associated injury. And they have found that all of the individuals had vitamin E acetate in their lungs, when in the lung, a sticky honey-like substance. Vitamin E acetate is an additive used in vaping and e-cigarettes, specifically used for THC thickening. Just because vitamin E acetate is being found in the lungs of these individuals does not mean that it's the cause. However, it is the first big clue and a probable factor, but we are gonna keep searching. So far to date, over 2,000 individuals have been injured with this and over 40 individuals in America have died from vaping associated lung injury, now known as e valley For those of you who are going to continue vaping, please be cautious. Do not use black market THC products. Please stick to nicotine products. And they've also found that those with associated lung injury were vaping at least five times a day. There's a clear association between frequency of vaping and lung injury. There was also a major association with people who used a company called Dank Vapes. They were eight and a half times more likely to be diagnosed with E-Valley, have this associated lung injury than those who used other products. So again, this is a major product to watch out for and a major breakthrough in this case. On a second note about vaping and about e-cigarettes, this is just the first thing. I think a major problem with this is our youth is taking this up. They can do it anywhere. They can monitor it. They can control it. It's fun, hot new technology, and they are getting a lot more nicotine even than they used to do in cigarettes because they're doing it more frequently. They can adjust the amount of nicotine that they're getting. And nicotine consumption, nicotine is a drug. Chronic exposure to nicotine is very dangerous. It can have a lot of even lifelong altering effects on our brains. So for any if you're watching this with children or friends that vape, I would highly suggest putting it down just because there are less chemicals than cigarettes does not mean that it is safe and I would never recommend it to anybody, even people who are quitting cigarettes. There are other ways. We have better ways. Vaping is dangerous. Thank you for watching. I hope that you stop vaping and that you share this video and that you tell your friends. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you want to see the next one, be sure to hit subscribe. The button is either there or there or there or there. And the next video should also be posted on this end screen as well. Ugh. On behalf of me and my dog, until next time, guys.